Today we are going to work together reviewing your math uh, skills for the next part of your end of the year math test. We'll start here with multiplication. Rem remember with multiplication you can use any method you want. So you should have your whiteboard stuff handy right next to you. You can do your work right there. I'm going to show you this first one here, 654 times 7. So you could do partial products where the big guy wrestles first and he's going against number seven and then you would go to your tenth place and remember it's the value of that five it's not just five but it's worth 50 and he also has to times by seven and then the little guys are last so you have each of those partial products six times seven is 42 and put your zeros back on 5 times 7 is 35. Now remember, you have to have it lined up. So 35 with 1 zero is 350. They have to be lined up in the ones place there. 4 times 7 is 28. And again, lining it up to make that next step easier on yourself. If you're doing partial products, you can add up then the ones, then the tens, the hundreds, and the thousands. And of course you can put your comma in there to help you out. That's partial products. Um, if you are one of those people who does traditional multiplication, it is very similar, but you're going, starting with the ones place. So seven times four is 28. Remember you're gonna bring your eight down and carry your two. Seven times five is 35, plus two extra would be 37. Carry your three. 6 times 7 is 42, plus 3 more is 45. Either way, you get the correct answer. Whatever method works best for you is the method you should do. It gets a little trickier as you get to a two-digit times a two-digit. So we are going to just focus on 86 times 27. So think about who's on team 86. We've got 80 and, sorry, that's a plus sign, 6. Who's on team 27, 20, and 7? So remember, big guys are going first, 80 times 20. And 80 wants to get done, so you can go take a nap. 80 times 7. 6 is going to go next wants to do the big guy first, get that hard match out of the way, and then last we have the little guys, six times seven. And your, neat, your work is going to be much neater than mine. Cover up your zeros, eight times two is 16, two zeros back on, eight times seven is 56, put your one zero, six times 20, you've got 12 with the zero, and 6 times 7 is 42. Double checking, making sure everything's in line here. Two ones, 12 tens, carrier one, 13, carrier one, 2,322 is correct. If you were to do traditional, um, don't forget to do that second row. So I'm going to cross this off, come over here to traditional method. For those of you who prefer that algorithm, we start with the seven. Seven times six is 42. Put your two down, carry your four. Seven times eight is 56, plus four more is 60. Remember, we gotta cross that out so we don't get confused later on. We're done with seven. It multiplied by both of these top numbers. So we are done with the ones. We are now in the tens place. Don't forget to put that zero there. Here's your second row. Two's turn. Two times six is 12. Put your two down. Here your one up here. Two times eight is 16, plus one more is 17. You can now add those up. We have two, two, 13, and two, 2,322. Again, whatever method works best for you. I'm gonna slide this over here, erase my work, and it is your job now to do a three digit times a one digit on your whiteboard, 837 times four. 
So you will go ahead and write that down on your whiteboard to give me an answer, please. You will also do 56 times 92 on your whiteboard. So you need two answers on your whiteboard using whatever method works best for you. Press pause while you do that and then come back to check your work. Thanks. So after you press play now, you are ready to correct. You've done both of these problems. 837 times 4, no matter what method you used, you should have gotten the product 3,348. So if you did not, go back and look through your work and see if you can find your mistake. If you cannot, you need to come and ask me and I will offer you some help. The second problem you were to do today was a two-digit times a two-digit, 56 times 92. When you actually did that work, you should have come up with the answer of 5,152. So, again, look over your work if you had any mistakes and come ask if you need some help. Thank you.